What I've got here in front of me is GoLive's UI that you would see the very first time you open it up. You'll be greeted by the welcome screen. You'll notice right off the bat there are three options in the top and there are two buttons below them. The first and third option here will take you to a page on adobe.com where you can get more information about GoLive. But the second one here, Tutorials, will actually launch the Tutorials section of the Adobe Help Files. And we'll look at the Help Files a little bit later. Just below them, we have a New Document button and an Open Document button. And below them, to the left, is the infamous Show This Dialog at Startup button. So you might want to turn this guy off if you have no need to see the startup screen every time you open GoLive. However, you can turn it back on in the preferences if you turn it off and decide later that you'd like to have it on. And of course, over here is the close button. This simply dismisses the welcome screen if you are done with it. But what we're going to do right now is go over to the new document button and we're going to click on that guy. Are you ready? One, two, three, click. Hmm, what have we got here? What I'm going to do now is just move this dialog box over a little bit so it's centered in our screen so we can get a better look at it. This is the New Document dialog box, and you'll notice that on the left-hand side are a number of categories, Site, Web, Mobile, Scripting, and Favorites. Let's take a look right now at the Site category. This is the place you'd go if you wanted to create a new site, connect to a site, or use any of the number of web samples that are available for you. These ship with GoLive CS2, so you don't have to pull them down from any place. They'll be there when you open up GoLive the very first time. And Adobe promises us that they're going to be sending us more samples as time goes on that we can install into this dialog. But for now, what I'd like you to do is to just follow my moves because we're going to use one of these sample sites as our play around site so we can get a feel for the user interface or what we refer to as the UI. So simply click the Web Samples button and then move over to Selecting a Site Sample for Copying. We'll go down to the bottom option, which is called Writer Blog, and we'll select that. You'll notice that down here in the lower portion of the window, we have a preview of what each of the sample sites looks like. Using your arrow keys, you can navigate up and down in the list and see a little preview of what all the rest of the options look like here in the site samples. And we're going to end up with Writer Blog, and then simply go down to the bottom button here on the right called Next, and click. Now in this screen, GoLive wants to know what do we want to name the site, and I think we'll just leave it Writer Blog for now, and where do we want to save it to? Well, I'd like to ask you to save it into your Lesson folder. So we're going to click the Browse button here, and I'd like you to find the project files for GoLive CS2 that were copied from the Total Training DVD onto your hard drive. So we'll click that up, and here we have Lesson 01 folder. We're going to select that as the folder into which we're going to save this site, and click Choose. Okay, we've got it all set. We're ready to click the Finish button, so let's move down to the lower right here, and click Finish. And voila, your very first site. That was pretty easy, wasn't it?